of security. Next, what are the gray areas? I just <coughs> now with the availability of current technology and knowledge in chemistry and chemical engineering. In fact, these are all available on Google. You search anything you get on Google. So it is very easy to make the software changes of security without any knowledge. Another gray area is research and education institutions. Then resale of purchased chemicals. <coughs> and the distributors at times relabel the chemicals and sell the material to the outside. Uh, uh, so the local agents, suppliers, middlemen, and outsourcing pose the maximum security risk. Now, what is the way, what is the way forward? At our level, at our industry level, we should promote sound chemical management practice right from procurement of raw materials, production, handling, storage, transportation, and supply chain. Second, develop process safety management system, follow best chemical practices in the plants, and screening of personnel in security matters. So we should have coordination with supply chain and customers. We should also have security essential in order to prevent any misdirection. We should check the background of our personnel before accounting them. We should have in the factory around the clock access and control procedures in situ so that we can take up an accident. Next, what is the overall chemical safety and security management practice in India? The response to central and state governments and law enforcement bodies have the same rules for safety and security. The, the responsibility for chemical safety and security by the industries as well as state and central governments. Then industrial management plan, we are all doing it here. And emergency preparedness by all the industries is prepared and more will conducted. All MH units have to make industrial management plan and conduct on-site and off-site mock drills at regular intervals and correct technical observed. Safety audits, trainings, SOPs, as of studies, automated health center, this kind of assessment ought to be done. Workplace toxic monitoring is to be done. Then NDMA, National Disaster Management Authority of Government of India, has prepared comprehensive guidelines on management of chemical terrorism disaster. Then documentation, communication, and training are management practices as have adopted by all transport industries. Now, what are the history of legal instruments in India? Most of these uh, legal uh, instruments are applicable to us. The Air Pollution Control Act, Water, water Pollution Control Act, Environment Protection Rules, NDMA Act, this is mainly for natural disasters, the Environment Impact Assessment Notification, Hazardous Management and Handling Rules, Management of Storage and Report of Hazardous Rules, and other chemical accidents, Rules 1996, Ozone Security Substances. Public Health Insurance Act, Petroleum Rules, Exclusive Rules, Gas in the Rules, Scientific Movement Pressure Vessels, Factory Act, IVR Regulations, Factories, Diamond Handling Rules, National Travel Rules, these are all the on the net. NCT Side Act, Mines Act, Prevention on Resume Act, and Chemical Level Prevention Act. I like to present two case studies of accidents. In, the, in both the case studies, the loss of life and poverty is not very high. But the root cause of this incident can also result in catastrophic accident in any MH unit. In one of the factories, two workers 
customer as well so as well as gas when they are trying to remove safety valve on the pipeline at a high at a height. One of the workers fell on the ground, but he survived. The another worker fell on the platform on the scaffolding and he died on the spot because of inhalation of extra gas. This is the photograph. This is the utility connector. Utility connector rail where nitrogen uh, and this is nitrogen uh, uh, supply rail here, and this is the hose pipe which was connected here. What is the root cause? See, the worker had opened the valve located at the bottom of the tank to depressurize. See, this is very wrong practice because the bottom is always possible of uh, choking due to stress formation. So the probably the, 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 the reactor had not got fully depressurized. The worker was wearing a safety um, jacket which was not compatible with HF and it didn't provide him sufficient protection. He proceeded to pass the tank without authorization from the supervisor. Safe work procedures had not been documented specially for tank decommissioning. Now what are the remedial measures for this? One simple non drip wall on the nitrogen line would have prevented the backflow of <coughs> gas. The hose pipe compatibility has to be checked because not compatible with uh, HF. Ensure that tank was completely depressurized because it was not sure whether tank had been depressurized or not. There was no proper pressure indicator, alarm, interlock system before starting the work. Ensure the importance of checking the tank pressure prior to connecting hoses for nitrogen pricing operation. There was no proper supervision. As far as possible, we should avoid using a flexible hose pipe and go for fixed piping. <coughs> and conduct periodic risk assessment reviews for high risk activities like this. So these are the two case studies where is, and the, the root, the cause was purely negligence on the part of workers as well as management which had resulted in these mishaps. But similar thing happening in other industries then it can be catastrophic in nature. Responsible. Responsible like the management. management, yeah. 
They should plan. They they should, one approach yeah. is that representative on the plan sites, they will disseminate the information and their experience about the inspection so as to reassure the participants that it is nothing, something special, as a confidence building me. So I request Mr. Kundar Patel. Mr. Kundar Patel is a graduate chemical engineer. He uh, has a wide exposure. He has been working with Rallis, Lupin, and now in UPL. He is working as a general manager, compliance, license, and technical audit. And I have been in uh, touch with him since last now four years. And he's, uh, he was also head of the Hello unit of UPL. That is consuming uh, consuming phosgene residue take chemical. It is being produced by Alembic Pauschak and they are the customers. So may I request you sir, please. Inspection conducted at our UPL Javadia site. About the UPL Javadia, UPL Limited is a public limited company engaged in the agrochemical <coughs> specialty chemicals and pesticide intermediates. The plant side of UPL Limited Unit 5 is manufacturing industrial chemicals, specialty chemicals, and agrochemicals. Chemist started in 1994 as a search camp and then merged with UPL Limited. Site is spread across 220 acres of land. We are divided in four groups, having three to five plants each group. And we have our own power plant of 20 megawatt and we are going to increase up to 35 megawatt. UPL Limited Jagadaya is an ISO 9001, 14001. OSAS 18001, ISO 1725 certified company. <coughs> now start the our inspection, how we got the information from NACWC, what documents we have prepared for the inspection, and what are the observation while inspection. That why we just click. We are scheduled to schedule three and DOC declaring facility. Documents and even guide us for the related inspection. Escort the leader and center format for pre inspection training. This is a very important document we have to prepare before the inspection. And it will help us a lot and almost everything covered in this pre inspection training. On his visit, we have finalized PIV presentation. Officer of NACWC also take a ground of our production facility and did guide us how the team is inspecting outside. PIV is the key of for conduct of smooth inspection. In PIV, these are the requirements to fill up the form. If Area, logistics, and location of our factory. Relevant government approved maps to justify location of the plant site like GRDC drawing approval. Mechanical, including PSF manufacturing, is dedicated for a multi purpose plant. Security procedures. How security facilities are available in our factory. MSDS of DOC toxic chemicals. List of raw materials handled at plant site, list of business products handled at plant site, common utilities, power, brine, steam, clean water. And these are the related to safety, health and safety aspects, hazard control measure. Aim of this inspection. We are given the inspection mandate received from OPCW. The general aim of the inspection is to verify the activities are consistent with the declaration information provided in the declaration. The particular aim of the inspection is the verification of the absence of any Schedule 1 chemical. 